Thailand is stepping up surveillance and testing for avian flu as the cooler temperatures of winter and increased poultry demand favor the H5N1 virus. Like the country itself, Thailand's poultry sector is both ultra-modern and traditional. Thais who make their living raising, processing and selling poultry are on high alert for any signs of the disease. We have active storage program uh, in every farm by taking the sample and send to test the AI in our laboratory. Defeating the deadly H5N1 bird flu virus is a long-term battle. Whether working in industrialized processing plants or raising fighting cocks on small farms, Thais are changing the way they transport and handle poultry. Since the first outbreak, the Food and Agriculture Organization has been providing assistance with efforts to contain the virus. Compared to the beginning of 2004 when there was a galloping epidemic of bird flu in the country, the Thai government has really put in a very big effort to uh, control this disease and continues to do so while, when now that the disease has reached a very low level with this X-ray surveillance program going out and searching for the presence of virus at a very low level. Thailand's strategy is widely considered a success. The last human death from H5N1 was back in August 2006. Thirteen government ministries are involved in the bird flu campaign, with some two million volunteers going door to door in every village looking for sick poultry. Markets are also being carefully monitored for birds that show any signs of the disease. And the movement and transport of poultry is controlled throughout the country. In some cases, birds that test negative are being issued with passports to move from one district to the next. This animal quarantine station can inspect up to one million chickens a month. These strict measures mean we can effectively control the spread of bird flu. The battle against bird flu has been an economic challenge for many poultry farmers. Tens of millions of chickens, ducks and geese have been culled to stop the spread of the disease. But Thai farmers are resilient. Some have used government compensation to introduce safer farming methods. Ducks are prime carriers and reservoirs of the virus, but farmers in Singburi province minimize the risk of farm-to-farm -farm infection by keeping their ducks penned in. Kanchana Pratam says that now death rates are lower and egg production has increased. Thailand is now offering aid and advice to other countries threatened by bird flu. It is clear that long-term commitment and local, regional and international cooperation are vital if a human pandemic is to be avoided. FAO has a regional laboratory network and uh, the hub laboratory for the Southeast Asian network is in Thailand. Uh, this lab a laboratory has provided uh, technical assistance to neighbouring countries to provide diagnostic services to confirm recent outbreaks and at the same time the Thai government has provided technical experts to travel to neighbouring countries to provide assistance. So in this way um, this linkage between FAO and the Thai government is working very well for the region.